Back again with Don. This looks uh the fun. Don Dada. We are at Salvation Thrift Store Donation Center. Hopefully we find some good stuff to resell for big, big profit. At least a uh, dollar into six bucks. <laughs> and then Don's gonna buy cookies. Nope, we can't have cookies. Don diet. You don't put words in my mouth, lady. You ain't putting a cookie in there either. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. Ladies first. No, that's yours. That's, there's the buck. A bucket. I'll take this little whip. I'll take this little whipper snapper. You get a bunch of stuff, just come throwing in the car. Yeah, you pay for it. <laughs> All right, folks. You know what? Stop just telling me to go to shoes. I'm going to skim through this. And then we're going to go meet up with Carrie afterwards. And then there's also somebody we're gonna meet for the first time in person, but I'm very familiar with them. I've actually been on this live a few times. Zara. Oh. What are these Yeezys? Are these some Yeezys? Zara main. They're like plastic. Come on, big money, big money. Big money. Oh, what is this? Yeezys? No, nope, not Yeezys. Avia. Yeezys? Got some boost here. How much are these? How much are shoes? shoes what is this north star canada these kind of remind me of caterpillar which is a good brand i sold a few times i'm gonna put, put this up for now i'm gonna look this up see what else we could find it's pretty cool shoes north star one of them sold as a limited edition i think there's inserts Somebody removed the inserts. Size 13 US. North Star Canada shoes have a really good retail price, but not very good when it comes to resale. I'm pretty sure you'll see those in the future have a really good uh, sell through rate. I think it's just a familiarity of them that you want to look out for. But for right now, I had to pass up on them. I've talked about women plus sizes, women items on the Let's Do Lunch podcast and how women are the biggest buyers as in customers ever and will always be in my opinion. And for that reason, that's why I'm trying to do my best to learn more about things that women like, why they shop, whether I get it or not. It teaches me what to look for and makes my process of thrifting smoother time and time again. This clothing rack that I'm at and on the other side of it had me there for around an hour. I really wanted to look more into the store, but apparel is what I know. And I knew counting down the time of when we had to meet up with Carrie and somebody else I want to showcase with you. I come across this Aaliyah shirt and I know it's not a, an older shirt and rest in peace Aaliyah. I do love seeing her in movies and hearing her music still to this day. And this is one where in our reseller boutique, if you're not following it already, we do have a fa uh, Facebook page. I have the link in the description. Um, these type of shirts do very well in our in our shop. So I not only shop for the boutique, I shop for to sell online and also for the event that's coming up. Because some of these items I'm going to try to sell there too. Okay. Faster the better. I don't have to list. Just put it on a hanger and throw it up there. Here's a t-shirt I came across and I didn't have really good phone signal. Phil's Cookie Fondue. Now, New Balance usually has limited runs of events and that's exactly what this is. Uh, Phil's Fondue cycling event, bike riding, and swagger. I should have picked it up for $2 and something cents. It would have probably sold for $15 to $20 since it was limited. Now, here's a brand I talk about often, but the white looks a little dingy. Gymshark. 
I really like to get these and I put it in the cart but I do put it back because I found a rip along the inseam so always make sure even though looking at stuff and it looks how fast I'm going folks I always go to the end of my shopping and filter out every item I do my best to seek out things that have flaws and then um, not have to do with it and invest in things that are going to be worthy of reselling not everything is going to be a name brand or things that you're familiar with on retail some things are limited edition as in their own website or their own storefront or community and the toys drunken toys podcast is one that i found easy online and their shirts usually sell out and for that reason i ended up picking it up even though it has some naughty characters i think i could get 15 to 20 dollars and it's a fun shirt people who are into that are gonna like that shirt as well as other shirts that i pick up from from it another gem shark shirt uh, no brainer for me this one's a really good condition it almost looks in brand new uh, so I should end up getting around $20 for it uh, the more the better now Tarjay their dog I always wanted a character of of it but not in a t-shirt more of like a vinyl or statue something to have in the background I just think it's a very cool dog single married in a relationship it's complicated in the studio and if I was to change in the studio, I would put, I'm in a thrift store. <laughs> Mikey and I were talking about modern t-shirts as in Y2K t-shirts going up in value like Port and & Company. And looking these up, that Sublime t-shirt should get me around $20 to $49. Keep an eye out on Port & Company. Make sure you're looking into things because I have mentioned that Port & Company is in a good brand. But I just wanted to bring that up and I bring it up from time to time that Port & Company and Good Humor are t-shirts you should start now looking out for even more. And I picked up two recently and I should do really good on them, especially when it comes to designs like this. Bart Simpson, it's an iconic character, especially him spray painting. Somebody just added their twist. Well, Port & Company added their twist and I'm thinking 15 to $20 for that t-shirt. I love stuff like that. It's clean too, like the backing on there. Mm -hmm. uh, that looks nice. Somebody did a good job. It's a nice art piece. What's the? There's a color of the day. I'm all orange. Do you want the cart? No. Nah. Good. Yeah, because then I'm gonna want to fill it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Came across a handful of Tommy Bahama tees. I think this will go good with the Tommy Bahama rack in the shop. Got 2x. These could go on whatnot, I'm pretty sure. Some of you ladies that follow me probably like, you know what? My man would look good in those. And is going towards a good cause with me and Mikey. It's going towards a shop to pay rent. Because, folks, they didn't make enough for last month. Apollo Sports Fishing. And here's another one. 2XL Relax Fit. Oh, this one has staining on the pit. But the graphic on the back is pretty nice. Little Marlin on the cup, signature little Marlin on there. But this other one's better. How's this one? It's a little light color right there, dot, but that's not bad. Relax T. This one has nine lady dancing. This one has nine. Nine ladies dancing, the hula. It's not bad. This is clean too. For $3, these will sell for around 15, 16 bucks. This one is really nice condition. I'm gonna get this one. This one seems to be in new condition. This would be more around twenty dollars. Oh, brand new with tags too. Look at that, forty nine fifty. I'm gonna snag this one up. Now these other ones, should I get them for three dollars? I really want to, but it's not. I like this one. Rum Rum Rudolph, Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Bahama. What I like about Rudolph on this one is it's not Christmas themed. But the blue 
on here is like just a little like it's been washed once but the material feels good it's cotton i think i'm just gonna take the one with tags that's gonna be the money maker folks we've been walking around in the parking lot for hours we just got finished thrifting we weren't walking the parking lot for hours ontario convention center damn it there's some bushes in front of us gonna have to stretch and hurdle over them well we went to Family Thrift Store, Salvation Army. We went to Salvation Army Family Thrift Store. And I invested $26 in change. One of those shirts should have everything and put me into profits. And then everything else follows up with more profits. But most of this stuff I'm going to try to sell here in, um, here in Cali. Look at these oh, guys. So you're, you're filming. I didn't know you filmed. Yeah, I, I got to get everybody in here. What's up, Primo? How are you doing, man? Good, man. See you, man. Yeah. Well, right well, good news about Kelly. Kelly. There, man. That hat is sick, man. Oh, Check it out. The hat of Luis, Don. Hi. Hi, Don. <laughs> I'm teasing her. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'll oh. give you one tomorrow, man. Nice. I got you. Nice. What'd y'all get? What'd y'all get? I got basketball cards, Damn, baseball like cards, football cards. Up. So many cards. So many cards. I spent thousands, a hundred bucks. A <laughs> thousand hundred bucks? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah Balling. Dude, a there's thousand there's hundred bucks. We, we saw what, like a $35,000 card? I don't know what this is. There's like some insane cards. Yeah, man. That's some crazy cards in there, man. Some big spenders in there, too. Right here, he spent the thousand hundreds. Yeah, dude, there was like football. There's a <laughs> baseball player buying his cards. Like, his really messed with some people because they're like, You're, why didn't you just throw that spirit, spirit that way? And I'm like, You're the, you on drugs. You're the idiot who let us go on this tour with a giant spear. I don't know why you're upset. So, Carrie, Sari, Carrie uh, caught Moby Dick. That's what he's saying. Is that Moby Dick? I don't know. I never read it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. They don't mind a little cleavage. No, I had to put that over my face. There you go. It's not because then it looks like you got heads. I look good. You don't want to be in sunny videos of boobs. I want to have boobs. All right, folks. We are here. We're here in El Monte. I'm Sunny Las Vegas full time content creator and reseller, stay at home husband, best trophy title ever. I still do my part though. And this year is one of the things, or this event at the FleaCon is one of the things I've been talking about last year that I want to do this year and be more a part of reselling communities, not only in Vegas, but out of the city, out of Nevada. And here I am in El Monte at the FleaCon, where it's FleaCon and Screws Toys who are pulling this event together. Really excited about this, but I am running late. So I get to put this all stuff together and see how it goes. And we'll share some highlights with you and tell you more about it. And we also got some stuff to go on tonight. Where we at, Don? There? Uh, probably your clothes right there. I'm okay. Sunny, you want to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Is that over here? Look. I have another rack too. That's fine. What's up, bro? Good, man. I know. Can you help me with this table? It's that bone. Oh, we can. We can. I'll take it off. Here. I'll take it off. You set up the the, the feet for it. I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. 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 Big money or lose money, it don't matter. On the small things, it's good. Just have cool things in your auction. Hey. Sunny Las Vegas. Las Vegas is number four reseller. <laughs> number four, which isn't bad. First is Don, Lady Arbitrage. Mikey Bags of Money, then the Niche Lady Thrifting Vegas, Sunny. And me, American Arbitrage, top 20 is what I'm gunning for. Someday. Someday. Probably not going to happen. Top 20? Top 20 would be nice. I mean, but maybe or, if I put down what part of Vegas in I'm like, I can get higher. Yeah. I'm in like, yeah. where am I? In West Vegas. All right, Carrie. How long have you been reselling? How long have I been a reseller? Since 2011. 
2011, right after I graduated from college with how many? Three degrees. Three degrees. And then I, my mom was so proud. So Ramble. I started, I started to resell. Um, no, but no, nah, I've been doing it for 11, 12 years. What What are things you don't like about reselling? Gosh, that's a good question. There's not a heck of a lot I don't like, to be honest. I like being out doing, even, I haven't done flea markets forever, but I like being out and talking to people. Um, I'd say the thing I hate the most, I've gotten rid of is shipping. I don't do shipping anymore. My stepdaughter does all the shipping. So that's the thing I hate. I hate shipping. And Don will tell you, it took me sometimes too long to ship stuff. She always said, carry ship faster. And I said, but Don, okay, because I have to do it. She's right. What are the two top top things you like about reselling? Uh, I can do what I want. I, there's freedom. So like right now we're in California, right? I moved from Utah to Vegas because of reselling and, and social media. And I'm glad you did. To do what I want. Yeah. So no, I'm glad I'm here. I'm going to spend time with Sonny and then um, just learn interesting things. Like I love the history of all this stuff. I love finding stuff that I think is interesting and then moving it on to other people. I don't collect much myself, but I like collecting for other people to buy. Right. That's pretty much what you're doing. Honestly, that's what we do. We we are uh, we're finders, we're treasure hunters, we're pirates. That's, Arr. What, we do. Arr. that's what we do. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. No, you're welcome. I'm not done. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I want to take a moment just to let you guys know if you guys could sub to my dear, dear, sweet friend, Commonwealth Picker. He is trying picker or flipper. It's, it doesn't either one. It doesn't matter. I think he has a triplet because he has like three oh, channels. Oh yeah, no, he has a garage. Edit that one out. Um, <laughs> uh, he has a Garage Sale Nation. Is that a new channel he like, just started? No, garage Sale Nation. Um, but yeah, no, edit, he's only at 82,000 followers, so the, he's struggling right now. We want to see if we can get him up to 83,000 followers. Yeah. By um, 2024? And he's, yeah, he's demanding every video that I mention that. So Okay. Are, are you an affiliate to Kevin? No, I, I, I actually owe him money. It's the oh, main okay. reason I'm doing this. I owe him lots of money. Okay. So if you guys would help me, this would maybe help me a little bit to stay in the good graces of Kevin. Okay. Yeah, we want to be on his good graces. Yeah. Because he's coming in April. Yeah. Trash Cat Podcast. You yeah. want to plug that in real quick? I just, I just knocked over these baby Jordans. These might fit me, actually. <laughs> That's how I go uh, information about Trash Cash. Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, it's going to be uh, April. What is it? April 22nd and 23rd. Trash to Cash Bash. There's going to be food. We're going to be doing stuff like going to the bins with everybody. Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker, is going to be there. Dave, the NC uh, Picker. Sonny will be hanging out with us, I'm sure, for a lot of it. Mikey, hopefully, will get to come. And then Dawn, yeah. maybe Arbitrage, what did she walk off to? Sure. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We'd love to have you guys out. It'll be fun. We're going to announce it on Trash to Cash this yeah. upcoming Tuesday, which could be okay. in the future of the past. Whenever yeah. Gets the, the future past. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm not done. <laughs> Look at that Raiders hoodie, man. Really? <laughs> it's comfy though, I bet though, right? You're just second person to look at that too. <laughs> I like the way you think. She makes everything into planner. Yeah. Everything's a planner. It is. There you go. And the Did he grab it already? Yeah, he grabbed it. Seventeen. What were you interested in over your hat? Um, yeah, but I, 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 I come back. I come back. All right. Give you a deal if you're picking up several. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. First customer. Yeah. First Good California luck. customer. <laughs> it's done. I won already. I'm gonna buy some hats for you. Okay. Tell me what a, it's inside there. So what's a fair, what's a price you'd be willing I mean, for these three? I'm not kidding either. For you? I just, I don't know if this one fits me. I'm, yeah, I don't know. It's a little small. Yeah, it's a little small. small. It is a vintage fitted. Though. It is a vintage fitted. That one as well. What do you think's a fair price? Three dollars. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four percent. Damn, look at that bliss. I need to get this signed though. You got a Sharpie? Nah, man, I got a Sharpie. Cali Luis. 
Thank you, Luis. Thank you, man. Where's carrots? I'll give you this one, too. I'll give it to you, though. Okay. There you go. Awesome, he's gonna love it. Hey, thank you, man. Not sunny, not sunny. I'm sunny wanna, Las Vegas. I don't want to shake it. The only reason we didn't last time, dude, is I was going across America. Let me out of our crib. Oh, no, I thought that. I was just gonna say that. So me, uh, I was, we're supposed to be set up right here, but yeah, all right. So who who are you? My Tell name is Rodrigo. <laughs> My name is Rodrigo, aka Yo Dig This. I'm a vintage vendor. Today I brought a bunch of vinyl records and starter jackets. I also got some fantastic homemade chamoy candy that me and my wife make. She's right here at Spicy Little Devils. That's the name of the game. We have spicy chamoy candy, peanuts, pistachios, gummies, peach rings, watermelon slices, and some gummy bears today, but we do take special orders. We make by the pound, candy tables, candy trays, anything you like, we make that today. So, so there's nothing that's like diabetic Unfortunately, we do use uh, non non vegan. She asked a great question. <laughs> I asked if he was vegan. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, these products are not. You know, these are standard product that we get uh, from. But the you could the have shelf. some every now but, and then. But we can. That's actually a very good idea. Yeah. We do need to cater to that market. So thank you for bringing that up. Vegans love spicy candy too. Oh, that, that yeah. Is true. No that discrimination, is true. right? We gotta we gotta be able to have the product. Well, we gotta for start everybody. somewhere right. across the board. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, today uh, we're Sweet. here at the venue and we do have some samples. Uh, these are watermelon slices as you can see they're fresh we make all our candy fresh these were made about 48 hours ago so the consistency they will last for a good two to three weeks the peanuts will last a little bit longer but they never last that long though right not so much Once when you, you start picking at them man you know it's like anything else man. They're, they're really tasty they're really good bien sabroso with the beer or carne asada you know all the chili it just kicks in michis perfect so if you like to check them out, please follow me and my girl here. You'll dig this or spicy little and you're on Instagram. This is the Instagram. That's the fastest way to find us. Kevin McCall. I remember having collected his his basketball cards. Ladies and gents, we're in a section of Cali, Luis. Not my Richie. I had to do that one. <laughs> All right, Luis. What's up, man? You're up, bro. Hey, Introduce you yourself. Doing? All right, you guys know who I am. I'm Cali Luis. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, on all my social media. You guys don't know my primo Sonny. I'm always in his chat, in his channel, so. Big supporter. Yeah, of course, man. We're here at FleaCon. This is my booth. Sonny's gonna take you guys around, show you guys what I got. Yeah. And like I said, if you guys see something that you gotta like, hit me up. If I still have it, we'll make a deal make deals yes, so sir. are you gonna get back to online auctions on your youtube uh for, for the most part right now no because i have so much going on on my personal life i've been working on myself personally with the weight loss and just trying to better myself and i've been concentrating on my ebay Bacari, okay. and on my selling platforms and of course this is the first uh sale that i've done this year so nice. i'm definitely gonna get back into these and uh me too the auctions will come eventually again but for right now, they're they're put on hold for now. What kind of things when you're sourcing do you look for that helps your business? Uh, well, that's always good to start with what you know. I like to do uh, video games, shirts. That's always been my niche. My niche. So definitely, uh, like I said, if you're not enjoying doing what you like, then why even do it? That's the way I see it. A lot of people see the money signs or think about the money first. But honestly, if me, I enjoy it. I like finding. I like finding the treasures. All the vintage stuff or i mean up to this day i'll find something and i still kind of geek out mm -hmm. like oh man i remember this when i was a kid or you couldn't find a cool shirt You're like oh man it's a cool shirt stuff like that you gotta enjoy what you do if you don't enjoy reselling or doing what you do then this is not maybe not for you so what are some things when you started that you're you wish you didn't do that kind of held you back uh well one thing is following other resellers and trying to find what they're selling yeah, sometimes we do find the same stuff, mm -hmm. but sometimes you get too carried away with other people, what other people are buying and selling, and you kind of lose focus because you're not being you no more. You're trying to be that person. Right. So you can't be that person. I can't be sunny Las Vegas. I can only be Kelly Luis, so I got to do what I got to do. So that's uh, an important lesson that I learned doing this reselling. And how long have you been doing this? Wow. I started doing going to flea markets uh, when I was seven years old. 
So I got introduced uh, to all this stuff because my dad used to sell at the flea markets and swap meets. So okay. I've been doing this for pretty much my whole life, you could say. Cool. So it's in my blood. <laughs> so I've been doing the reselling. Uh, and right now I'm getting my son into it a little bit where he's starting to go out with me when we go sourcing. Nice. Or uh, he'll be like, look dad, look what I found. And he already knows what I'm looking for. So it's kind of cool that I'm, I'm showing him that because it's going to show him another avenue for him to make passive yeah. income besides try it. out if he likes it yeah if he likes to do it i'm going to support him or if he wants to go to college and be a professional then it's different but i I'm, want him to learn how to do that because that's how i was taught and of course that's how my father was taught so that's dope that's i like that face yeah <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at the Look at the Wait, he was ready. This legend, the legend of Las Vegas himself. Ha! In your face! It's like a classroom. The smaller, the more attention I can give the people. He can't focus on everybody in the, in the Americas, yeah. but he is he is more Spanish than I am English. The, the, you are you are like the corner of the market on subpar YouTube content. So don't be telling about me in my corner. That's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> this event's called, That's my other side hustle. Honey is great. Honey is this event's called Screws versus uh, Fleecon, but I think I'm gonna change it to uh, Sunny Las Vegas versus. Ooh. That's true. Oh, oh we're, we're taking this back to Vegas. Yeah, I'm gonna say it got heated at the. Damn. <laughs> I mean, they got heated. That's the title of the video. You gotta, you gotta see Miss Miss Kathy's professional setup right here. Look at that. She's not messing around. I know. This is how you're this is how you're supposed to do it. At least somebody has money here. I know. Exactly. I waste all my money on this stuff. Yeah. It's not selling, so I buy junk and got a table for that. <laughs> you, you took that from that guy's hand, huh? Yeah, I did. Hi mommy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Next on Sunny Las Vegas. Gary, my name's going on here in two years. I know, right there. My name's going right there. Right there Sunny, Las, Sunny Las, Vegas. Las Vegas. It's not even going to be a signature, it's just going to be a smile, sun, little emoji, nice. outline, no color. And then I'll put yours over here. Awesome. I'll get one, one of them. Yeah. But I'm going to maximize the space. I'm going to put different people on here. Mikey Bags of Money is definitely going on one of these. I'll think about you, Carrie. Put a sponsor on there, like Burger King or something. Oh. Make some extra dough. Sponsor? Ladies and gents, we're not done yet with the arbitrages. We have one more video to end it off with following Mikey Shirt Day video that we ended up going to the bins with, and then it's gonna be a busy week. I got a lot of stuff going on this week, and I can't wait for next week just for things to slow down a little bit. But it's all worth it because you're worth it, this is worth it, and everything that comes along with what I'm doing and working on with other people as well, there's so much that could happen for you if you just give yourself a chance, folks. Don't give up on yourself and your dreams. Stay tuned for more, and to watch more, go ahead and check out these videos right here. Mm -hmm.